Well, Donald Trump has slammed CNN and BuzzFeed for publishing what he called fake news. He said that the outlets had done it for their ratings. Earlier, my colleague Nick Yarren discussed publications with John Gaunt, he's a host on Talk To Me Radio, and with Freddie Gray, who's deputy editor of The Spectator magazine. The damage is being done to Trump and his reputation. If I was Trump, I'd be suing. Well, I, I actually think that it, it doesn't harm Trump in any way. It helps Trump uh, because, you know, everybody loves uh, sort of the salacious details. And then we say, oh, of course, that's ridiculous. There's no real evidence behind it. And Trump comes out looking rather better. You know, oh, well, the way okay. that the Western... I'll print a completely untrue story about you then, sleeping with the whole of St. Paul's Choir, shall I? You'll be happy about that because it's a bit of... All publicity is good publicity. The establishment elite, my friend, don't want Trump to be in power, never wanted Trump to be in power. BuzzFeed, desperate think, because um, their numbers are failing. They're desperate for the clicks. They've gone for it. The uh, mainstream media want the same sort of clicks, so they have to follow the story. They didn't uh, break the story themselves. They were probably too scared to break it, but they were right not to break it. However, once it's broken, just like in a defamation case, they love the fact that they then can jump on it because again it fulfills their narrative trump evil clinton good all i'm saying is about the specific dossier story i think the media has, has shown it a rare it's like the mainstream media not buzzfeed so you know bbc and the new york times has shown uh, a rare uh, a level of responsibility uh, there's no doubt that in the run to the election the media embarrassed themselves and it backfired because people can tell and people don't like it and people vote against it even if they don't like trump they vote for the enemy of their enemy, and their enemy, in many well, ways, is the media, and that's well, the, 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 the BBC, the Washington, the BBC, the Washington Post, New York Times, and CNN were completely biased against Trump. I think the problem is you see the world as, as black and white as, as you accuse the BBC of doing. The problem is you see black where they see white, and you see, and they see white where you see black. Really? You, you, you see the world in the same oh. way, but just a mirror image of it. And the truth is more nuanced and more complex. <laughs>